that part. This is by Pavan Vilas Jadhav et al. PK enabled authentication and encryption for enhanced zone communication. Good morning, all of you. Uh, this is a uh, CCA funded project. Uh, currently, we are working on this pro project. So, uh, our title is uh, PKI Enable Authentication and Encryption for Enhanced Drone Communication. Uh, my mentor is there, uh, Krishna sir. Uh, they are supporting lots of, then Mizba sir also. So uh, today's Teachers Day, uh, that's why we are saying uh, two lines according to this uh, one. Uh, Guru Ra Brahma, Guru Ra Vishnu, Guru Ra Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Ra Sakshata Parabrahma, Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha. Uh, then uh, our project overview is that uh, like uh, we are nowadays uh, like uh, uh, we are doing a drone communication like ground station to uh, uh, ground station to like flying drone. So uh, in the uh, uh, there is no security like uh, if you are sending data like ground station to drone or uh, drone to ground station. So uh, in that perspective uh, we are thinking uh, like uh, can you, uh, can you enable the PKI in that? So uh, uh, so on that basis we are doing the work uh, like in the Oreo. So in the introduction part, like context, uh, in the context, like a uh, uh, drone is uh, uh, widely used in like uh, in a multiple application. Uh, so uh, of, uh, it is a major application like milit uh, military application, agriculture sector also, then uh, delivery purposes also. So uh, nowadays the uh, drone, uh, uh, like drone regarding thing nowadays uh, growing, like, uh, like uh, growing drone usage demands uh, so no security. So uh, so <coughs> uh, second one in that like a pro in a problem statement. So uh, open wireless uh, channels uh, pose significant security and uh, risk for drone. In the drone communication, we are doing uh, uh, like a drone communication ground station to uh, flying drone. In that uh, like um, uh, in the multiple attacks in the, uh, that like. Uh, um, man in the middle, like uh, DOS attack in that. Uh, so that's why we are using the uh, PK in that. Then our objective in that, like uh, PKI provide the uh, robust security in that. Uh, Then, uh, like in a comparative analysis, uh, they, like uh, uh, their existing security uh, primitives is drawn, and uh, we are uh, uh, proposing a security primitive with the EPK, uh, PKI ecosystem. So, uh, multiple parameter in that. So, uh, like authentication method in that, crim uh, encryption technique. So, security level in that. So, key management in that. So, in the multiple factor in that, so according to uh, this factor, we are uh, doing our uh, project, this kind of. Uh, in the framework, there are uh, four to five main component in that, like uh, trusted CA in that, then uh, like public key in that, uh, so in a public key, uh, certificate contain public key for authentication, then uh, secure channel. We are enabling the uh, secure communication between drone and ground station. Then in a hierarchical structure, uh, so uh, like, a, like in a uh, root security, uh, uh, in a root CA, like it is main uh, anchor to the like uh, in a CA. So in a encryption technique, uh, why are you selecting the uh, ECC? Uh, as compared to RSA, uh, because in a ECC, like it is a, uh, uh, we are using a uh, less key size uh, because of uh, in a microcontroller, uh, less space is required. It is for uh, more, uh, if, uh, we are working on more efficiently on that. Then uh, it is a providing the, uh, like uh, when we are exchanging, uh, exchanging the key, so it is a providing uh, more security in that. 
So on that perspective, we are using ECC uh, uh, encryption technique. In the implementation, in the implementation part, so in a microcontroller, uh, we are already done the like uh, uh, how to uh, communicate like a uh, drone uh, uh, ground, uh, how to communicate drone with uh, Wi-Fi. So. Uh, our next step is that like we are implementing, uh, we are uh, choosing the another microcontroller for that because uh, this microcontroller, uh, it is not uh, like compatible uh, to the ECC algorithm. That's why we are using the uh, like uh, L4 or maybe uh, STM32 L4 or STM32 U5 series microcontroller. Then we are using the one uh, cryptographic uh, accelerator here, hardware uh, cryptographic accelerator. So because we are doing communication or we are sending data to a ground station to uh, like a flying drone. So uh, we need a speed because uh, we are, uh, uh, that's why we are using the cryptographic accelerator here. There are multiple challenges. Uh, we are doing the uh, project, so multiple challenges in that. So uh, scalability, interoperability, cost and uh, complexity, then performance. In the, in the conclusion and future outlook, the integration of PKI with the drone fleet management system along with the uh, development of industry standard and uh, regulatory compliance with play a key role in the shaping of future of secure drone communication. So what ECC has been used? Ha, yes, sir. Uh, in the like uh, uh, standard curve, sir. We are using standard curve, sir, in that. Let us thank the speaker.